the patients who have liver cirrhosis can be divided into two types. One is early cirrhosis and the second is advanced cirrhosis. So, the patients who are early cirrhosis can have absolutely normal liver function test and when you do a liver function test, you will find bilirubin normal, enzymes normal, alkaline phosphate is normal, protein, albumin, prothrombin time all normal and all this is actually a, you can say that it can misguide you a normal liver function does not rule out a cirrhosis of liver, but it just speaks that it may be an early cirrhosis provided you have a other parameters or other tests which are showing cirrhosis of liver. So, if you do an ultrasound which shows a, a liver ultrasound shows a core texture of the liver, it may show a portal vein diameter increase, it may show a spleen enlargement, it may also show the liver lobules or nodularity, it may show a flow of the liver hepatopetal. In that case, that along with the other liver function tests, if you merge it with, you may be able to tell that patient may have a cirrhosis of liver. So, a normal liver function does not rule out cirrhosis of liver, whereas in all patients of advanced cirrhosis of liver, you will have an abnormal liver function test. That is how I mean. So, if you have a patient who is diagnosed for the first time in your OPD, cirrhosis of liver based on the ultrasound, based on the uh, endoscopic findings, it does not necessarily mean that he will have an abnormal liver function test. Although, uh, that is most of the time seen in 70 to 80 percent of the patient, but again 10 to 30 percent of the patient in early cirrhosis may not have an abnormal liver function test. Whereas, in advanced cirrhosis, it is vice versa, almost 90 to 95 percent of the patients with advanced cirrhosis of liver will have an abnormal liver function test.